be very, very awkward for me to be in one room and you guys in the other room. I'm thankful, too, because Jess is pretty loud. I don't need to know that. What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to Grimm. Today, we're checking in with Colt from 90 Day Fiance as he goes on the vacation of a lifetime to meet his girlfriend in Brazil. Well, they've already met, but they want to hang out in her home country. And what does this genius do? He invites his mom along on the trip, which sounds just as cringy as you'd expect. Look, we all know this guy's pretty much married to his mom. The way they hang out all the time, he asks her for everything, and it's like they're just a symbiotic relationship at this point. So without further ado, let's just get right into the cringe as they're checking into the hotel. Oh my gosh. And there's another uh, one. One room for everyone. Well, there's kind of two rooms. Yep. So this idiot booked a single hotel room, but he considers it two different rooms because there's a little sliding door divider. Look, if you're going on a vacation to meet your girlfriend, I don't know why you thought it was a good idea to have your mom literally five feet away in a bed with a crappy sliding door separating you two. That just sounds like a recipe for the most terrible situations ever that no parent or child should ever put each other through. There are two rooms. Two? My mother hasn't been out of the country before, so I wanted her close by. See, and Colt admits here that he just wanted to keep her close by, which is so creepy and weird. Like, dude, you can let go of your mom for about five days or however long you're on this trip. Why couldn't you go and have a fun time with your girlfriend, but instead you already ruined the surprise by telling her that you're bringing along your mom, and then you make it even worse when you guys get to this hotel and you are sharing a room with her. That is the total biggest buzzkill ever for this girl, who already is just way too excited to see Colt, you'll see soon. But wait, it gets better. Things get really freaking intense really quick because Debbie, his mom here, has not slept in over 30 hours and she's cranky. I don't even think she wanted to come along on this trip, but she just loves hanging out with his girlfriends and trying to ruin every single relationship that he has. And he allows it because he needs her around him 24 seven. I only booked one hotel room, but I thought I was getting a larger suite than it was. I guess something was lost in the translation. Oh yeah, sure, Cole. I'm sure something was lost in translation. I bet you there was full on pictures of this room and you were able to see the situation and you bought it for the reason that she would be sleeping so close to you. You need mommy with you 24 seven because you're a man baby and it's just mind blowing that you still try to cover up for this and act like, oh, it was a big oopsie. I didn't know that we'd be <laughs> sharing a room or anything. I think you were just scared of being in a foreign country by yourself and you needed mommy to hold your hand the entire time. We have this bed and then we have these two beds. So you can sleep in this I'll one. I'll take this one. OK. This will be fine, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, everyone sounds so excited. The situation here is just so joyful. It's exactly what you'd expect. When you hunker down in your hotel for the first time on a vacation, you know, usually everyone's excited and giddy and wanting to get around everywhere and see the sights. But instead, Debbie just lays down and takes a depression nap. And Colt is just sitting here awkwardly with his girlfriend, not sure what to do. I don't know what Colt was thinking when he only got one hotel room for the three of us. It's not a good thing. And look, dude, if your mom, who is wanting to be by you just as much as you want to be by her, tells you that it's not a good idea, then you're probably crossing a line and you need to have some separation from your mom. I know it gives you a lot of anxiety to think about that, but man, you don't need to live your life with her. What happens when she's going to be gone one day? Like, what are you going to do, bro? This guy is 30 something and cannot do anything by himself. Debbie, how are okay? I just want to sleep for a bit. He's sleeping in Vegas, you know, work half no, time for sleep. No, it's fine. That's fine. Let, let mom sleep for a bit. And then to make things worse, Jess is being annoying. Like, why are you sleeping? We, we got to go see the sights. Like, it's not like you just traveled for an entire day to get over here. And you're an old lady who probably needs to sleep more than the average person. Like, just let the poor lady sleep. She's so sad that she had to be brought along on this trip and had to leave her home in Vegas, which she doesn't like doing. And she's probably very tired. So let her sleep. All right. Yo, real quick before we move on, guys, do me a big favor. My analytics show that only 39% of you watching are actually subscribed. I don't know what's up with that. But if you guys are already watching the videos every day, you might as well join the Grim Squad officially, so hit that subscribe button. I either sleep for five minutes or ten minutes an hour, or you can put me in the hospital in about a half hour. Let's go. Let's go. For God's sake, it's been 30 hours. And Debbie absolutely snaps on her here, which is rightful right here. I mean, don't be complaining that someone wants to sleep after traveling. I know they just got here and you're excited, but you were complaining about her coming on the trip anyways. If anything, it's the best idea for her to be sleeping so you and Colt can go off and, I don't know, have fun somewhere else. The first time she's cute and okay, she's okay. And now is rude. Maybe Debbie don't like me. Yeah, I don't think she does like you because she dislikes every single one of Colt's girlfriends because that's taken away the focus from her. Again, these two live together back in Vegas. 
they have like six cats or whatever, and they spend all of their waking hours together, even when this guy is working because he works from home, I believe. So the thought of her losing her son, who she's had with her her entire life, to just some random woman in Brazil is probably a tough pill to swallow for her, and that's why she's snapping as well, because she really does not like this situation, and you'll see later that she didn't like that they were already talking about their future as soon as he landed and was talking with her. Well, every... Your mom's here. <laughs> well, she's hard of hearing, and she's tired, so she'll go to sleep for a while. Okay, dude, this is, this has to be scripted because no people are just this ignorant of other people's emotions. These two are fully having a conversation about how badly they wanna just destroy this bed right now. And the door is open next to his mom who is trying to fall asleep and she has to slam the door to avoid this awkward conversation. I don't know why Jess's mind is always on this. You're gonna notice that she brings this topic up pretty much anytime the camera's on her, which is probably not a good sign for Colt or maybe is depending on what he wants out of this relationship. But either way, why are you having this conversation right here? At least go out into the hallway and speak about it or go to the lobby or somewhere else where your mom is not trying to sleep and she does not want to hear any of this, bro. I'm worried that my mother will scare off Jess. She's slamming doors, she's yelling, and she's just not being a team player. Yeah, she's not being a team player because you're forcing her to stay up after she's been traveling and she just wanted to take a little nap. And then you're having the world's most awkward conversation to have next to your own mom as she's trying to fall asleep. So I can see why she's not being a team player. Jess is very annoying already. And this just hasn't been a good situation for her. I'm sure she's just dreaming of being at home playing with the cats like normal. So they decide to step away so that they can take a trip to the beach. And here's where things somehow get even cringier than they were before, because I don't know what Colt's idea is of Brazilian fashion, but I think he got the wrong swim trunks here, for his body type at least. Yeah. Hey. What do you think? Ooh. I think I want to go back 10 seconds before I knew this existed. That's what I think, Colt. Why did you have to buy a Speedo, bro? Like, at least wear some swim trunk, like a normal overweight American. That's what we do, all right? Us thick boys, we don't look good in these Speedos. You gotta avoid that at all costs. But apparently it works for Jess, and she starts bringing up that classic topic that she's always talking about as they stroll down the beach. And it is just the cringiest sight of all time. I'm wondering what people are thinking as they see this giant guy next to this girl walking down the beach with these camera crew following them. They probably think it's the start to the weirdest internet video of all time. But moving on, the next morning, Colt actually comes out and talks to his mother, Debbie, about the whole situation and how things went down. So let's see how that conversation goes. Where did you guys go last night? I woke up and nobody was there. We got in your room. So thankfully he had the bright idea to book another hotel room so that his mom could have her own privacy and he could have his. I don't know why he still thought that was a good idea, regardless of if the suite was giant or not. Just buy a separate hotel room for your mom. It can't be crazy expensive. Plus I'm sure TLC is comping them a bunch on this trip. So I think that was probably for drama why he did that. But either way, I'm glad he made that move. Good job, Colt. It's your first good idea this whole trip. That was a breakfast. Very good, you want some? Yeah, what's this? Guava. Oh, let me try it. And I mean, this is just a classic example of why this man's relationship with his mom is just not healthy at the age he's at. She treats him like a five-year-old, feeding him his own food. If you wanted to try your mom's breakfast, pick it off the plate, bro. You don't need to be fed with a fork like that. I'm surprised she didn't make little airplane noises as she came down for landing there. Everything about this dude just screams man-child, and I don't get why he keeps getting into these relationships and ruining them by bringing his mom along for every single part of it. Of course, she's not gonna be happy with these women because they're taking away the limelight from her in your life. And then he's just sitting there confused at why it didn't work out. But dude, you're bringing along your mom who is literally just blocking you in every opportunity when it comes to these. I'm actually very happy that you and Jess decided to get your own room because it would be very, very awkward for me to be in one room and you guys in the other room. And the mom here is just profusely thanking Colt for finally making a good decision on getting that second hotel room. I still think it was a dumb idea to bring your mom along for this trip anyways. If you want to take her for a trip, go ahead and do that. But don't do it on a trip where you're going there to see your girlfriend. Like, that is just a little bit weird to me, especially when it's your guys' first time in her home country. Or whatever you did, I don't want to know, but so I'm very thankful. I had the ocean to listen to. I'm thankful too, because Jess is pretty loud. I don't need to know that. Ah, and this Nikocado avocado built boy over here 
drops this very cringy line to end off this conversation with this little grin of his. I'm disgusted at that thought. Like, why are you bringing that up with your mom, dude? You have some serious issues with just where your borders lie with your relationship with your mother. You never need to bring that topic up. You just made things way more awkward. I thought this was a good conversation, but you let me down cold. And to be honest, I think that's all I can handle of this cringe lore today. Hopefully there will be more episodes later on in the future that I can cover for you guys because there is a lot of content with this guy and this trip that he made to see Jess. Anyways though guys, let me know what you thought down in the comments below. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, peace out.